Hey Mama Lemmas, I hope you are having a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. I hope you are doing amazing. Uh, if you're new here, hi, my name is Anomaly, but you can call me Allie for short. Uh, my channel content mainly revolves around The Sims 4. I do custom content hauls, mod reviews, and let's plays, uh, which if you haven't checked out my two current let's plays, go ahead and do so. I'm doing the 100 baby challenge uh, right now, and actually I do have a storyline based let's play called Antonia's legacy uh definitely something you would enjoy if you're into realistic storytelling let's go ahead and get started with my tips to reducing lag and making your sims 4 gameplay a lot smoother even with a bunch of cc and mods uh, i do play my game with a lot of cc and tons of mods so trust me on this one i know what i'm talking about um one disclaimer though these tips worked for me obviously uh, but they might not work for everybody. With The Sims 4, all lag is honestly rooted in your computer and how good it is. Um, I will leave a link to the list of required and recommended specs uh, for The Sims 4 so you can take a look at that and see where you stand. So the number one tip I have for anybody who plays with CC, no matter how much it is, to merge your custom content. So <laughs> yeah, you heard me. So you're going to download this application called The Sims 4 Studio. Uh, I will leave a link in the description to the website where you can download it and a tutorial on how to use it because I'm not going to go too much in depth here. But basically what merging your content does is you're taking all the CC you have in your mods folder, the package files, and merging them all into one file. This way the game doesn't have to read all of your package files one by one because in that case it's going to slow your game down a lot. So here, if we go into my mods folder and then my CC folder, uh, I've only got one CC file, but in this file I have like 300 items of CC. So if I were to even have separate files of CC like hair, clothes, you know, etc. I would be slowing my game down by a, a pretty good amount. So do check out the links below to learn how to merge your CC because it is very important. Second tip I have for you is a weird one. Uh, I gotta say my dad suggested it to me and I thought he was a literal lunatic, but it actually made a decent impact on my game, which was freaking crazy. So here it is, guys. If you are using Google Chrome as your default browser, delete it. <laughs> delete it right now, no matter how much you love it, and go download Firefox uh, instead. I made the switch about a week ago, and I mean, it, it definitely did something. I did notice that my frame rate increased by like 10. Uh, Google Chrome does use a lot of your data and can slow your entire computer even a little bit. So definitely make the switch and see what happens. Uh, I'm curious if it's just me or I'm like thinking things or seeing things. But for me, it definitely um, made my game just a little bit smoother and faster. So let me know. Another thing that you want to do is go into your documents, electronic arts, The Sims 4, and then you will see a lot of different files here, but a good bit of these files actually don't need to stay um, in this folder. So if you use MC Command Center, it's a mod, and you have any last exception text files over here, go ahead and delete them. Now these files do tell you um, when MC Command Center finds a problem with your game or other mods that you have. So if you wanna read it, go ahead and do so. But if you don't really care or you already figured out the problem, you can go ahead and delete uh, these files. Another file that you do want to delete is the local thumbcache.package file and after you delete them every time you start the game um, they will renew themselves so they will appear again but if you never delete this it'll slow your game down a lot. I'm not quite sure I haven't really looked into it but it does hold a lot of information and it'll keep building up and building up if you never delete it so we can go ahead and delete that. I can't delete it right now because The Sims 4 is open on my computer right now but if it were close, I would definitely delete it. And another thing that you want to consider is your screenshots. So if you're like me and you take a bunch of screenshots, what you should probably do is move your screenshots to a different folder or application, whatever you want to do. Some people like to put a new folder on their desktop for their Sims 4 screenshots and move it there. I like to put mine on my Google Drive. I have like a, a folder that says Sims 4 screenshots and I move them there because if you keep taking screenshots and they keep building up in here, it'll definitely 
slow down your game a little bit more. If you also have any files here in this cache folder, go ahead and delete all of them. They're useless. You don't need it. Last but not least, this mod won't inherently speed up your game, but if you go into your Sims game and the intro is so incredibly long and it takes you minutes or even like an hour to load into your game, so go ahead and download the no intro mod by this person on Mod The Sims. I will have the link in the description to this mod link. Uh, it was uploaded in 2014, but it has been updated to July 2020, so it should be good. I've used this mod for probably like six months now. I mean, there's no way that it has messed with my game or compatibility issues or anything. It's great. So literally all it's going to do is just remove um, the EA and Maxis logo that you get with your loading screen and the Sims 4 icon as well. So if it takes you a long time to load your game, um, this will take that away and make your load time a little bit faster. It won't make your game smoother in terms of like quality, but if you're opening your Sims 4 game and you're waiting for a long time, this will definitely help you. All right, you guys, I am here in my 100 baby save um, and I am in windowed full screen at the moment just to kind of give you that full um, effect with all the tips that I told you guys about. So I'm actually going to show you guys my frame rate right now. So I'm going to go control shift C and then type in FPS on. And as you can see, I do have the frame rate over here of my game. Now it is snowing a little bit. Um, so that will drop down the frame rate a little bit, but I used to have like 20 to 30 frames per second. And now I probably get around 40 to 60, um, 60 if there's no weather and I'm in a small household, but even 49 is pretty good. Um, as you can see, like I'm, my game runs fine and it's totally beautiful. Obviously your leaves and your flowers and stuff aren't going to be as super detailed as it would be if you were on high settings, but the game just looks good without high or even medium settings you can definitely get away with that. I know I was kind of skeptical to start my channel because I do play on low and medium settings but literally nobody cares like I'm telling you right now nobody cares. Um, I do have a reshade on that really does help with your game looking brighter and more beautiful so that'll kind of take away from the lackluster plants and trees. But let me know what you guys think and if you try any of these tips if they worked for you I really really hope they do. Uh, like I said, it's not going to work for everybody, but I definitely hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and leave a like on the video and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more Sims 4 videos. Bye y'all.